I uh, said to my family, I think I'm going to uh, write a cookbook and I won't have to work as hard. <laughs> I think I'm working harder. <laughs> I imagine that, uh, you know, playing a, an accordion in those days, that wouldn't have been exactly hip, would it? It wasn't hip at all for the ladies, no. <laughs> it's not exactly a lady instrument. <laughs> Yes, Queen Ida's done the impossible. Got the rock audience listening to the accordion. The sounds pure Zydeco, a crossover type of music dragged out of the bayous of southwest Louisiana and into the charts. Well, I could smell something tasty there, Ida, and I knew it wasn't my cooking. <laughs> Thanks. How are you? <laughs> Not too bad at all. What is this, though? Shouldn't you be out playing that uh, accordion? What are you messing around Well, it, it goes hand in hand. See, if you eat enough of this cooking, you can uh, really play the accordion a lot better because it's very physical to play the accordion, and you need a good meal before. This is going to be jambalaya once we get it all together. Um, and it must be very hard to play the accordion and cook. It is difficult, but it uh, works well. I, I have found myself many times uh, making gumbo, which is, again, time-consuming, mm -hmm. and picked up my accordion, played the accordion while it simmers. Most rock musicians go to record stores and sign albums. Queen Ida's different. She sits there and she signs cookbooks. Okay, thank you. I was always around the music. Not just the Zydeco music, but around rock and roll as well, because 14-year-old kid doesn't want to play Zydeco at that time. Ida, my last comment, I'm starving. Okay, we're gonna mix this jambalaya and you can sit down and- Whack it on a plate. Yes. The end of another tough assignment at the Cotton Club. Eating jambalaya with Queen Ida. Lovely. <laughs>